Okay, so exercise 3 and 4.3 asks you to graph the absolute value function, state the intercepts, dom domain, and range. And in all, all cases, the domain is going to be the set of real numbers because you're going to have a V-shaped graph that will go on forever and cover all values for x. But the, uh, the range will be, remember, from the vertex up or from the vertex down, depending on the... Uh, the integer value here, whether it's above zero or not. If it's above zero, it will be opening up. So it will be from the vertex up for the range. Uh, and if it's a negative number like it is here, then it's going to be from the vertex down. That's the range. So domain, range, easy. I'm just going to show you how to find the intercepts. Remember, we already know how to find the vertex. Well, let's quickly do that. Let's pull up this one right here. And we're going to find the vertex, and then we're going to define the, uh, the intercepts. So that one looks like this. It says j of x, which I'm going to call y, equals 2 times the absolute value of 2 times 1 minus x. Absolute value minus 4. And they're trying to be tricky by putting some junk in brackets here. But you know you can just multiply that through, and that's a piece of cake. So the, uh, the intercepts will be where x equals 0. Where x equals 0, the, the uh, graph will intercept the y-axis. Or sorry. Where y equals 0, the, uh, the line will intercept the x-axis. So, x-intercept. y equals 0. So for y equals 0, we, type, we go 0 equals 2 times the absolute value. I'm just going to work the 2 in there. 2 minus 2x. Two it be a lot easier to do that. I'll put it all in brackets too, and I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. Minus 4. Which means that 4 equals 2 times that stuff. So 2 equals the absolute value of the same stuff, which is 2 minus 2x. Now, the absolute value of 2 minus 2x can be 2 equals 2 minus 2x, or it can be 2 equals minus 2 minus 2x. Now remember that the absolute value of this stuff and this stuff are the same. So let's uh, solve for x in both these cases. Uh, so 2 equals 2 minus 2x. Divide everything by 2, we get 1 equals 1 minus x. x equals 0. That was easy. And in this case, 2 equals negative 2 plus 2x. And then divide the whole thing by 2 again, and we get 1 equals negative 1 plus x. And therefore, well, we can see right now x equals 2. So those are our two values for x where we have uh, intercepts in the x-axis. The y-intercept, the y-intercept, where x equals 0. Now before we go, go on for this, I should mention, this is not the answer. If they're asking for the intercepts, it has to be a coordinate, 0, comma, something. And here, 2, comma, something. And that something, of course, is, is 0. y equals 0 by definition in this whole thing. So 2, 0, and 0, 0 are our two coordinates, and those are our answers here. When you're asked for an intercept, you have to give a coordinate, not just the x value in that coordinate. So the y-intercept is where x equals 0, moving right along. And if x equals 0, we got y equals 2 times the absolute value of 2, 1 minus 0, minus 4, which equals 2 times the absolute value of 2, minus 4. And so that could be two different things. Y equals, well actually, 
Well, it can't be two different things. The absolute value of 2 is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. We already knew that because we had that coordinate there. So y equals 0 is the y-intercept. So once again, that's not the answer. We need the coordinate. So y equals 0. And what's the x value? Well, we set x to 0 in order to hold, do this whole thing. So 0, 0. So that gives us our intercepts. And we know that our domain, in our, or sorry, our domain is all real numbers, as it is for all of these linear functions. The range, though, is from the vertex up. And the vertex, the vertex appears to be We haven't calculated the vertex, have we? In order to calculate the vertex, let's just uh, simplify this here so it looks in the right shape. And to find the vertex, we'll go y equals 2 times the absolute value. That's 2 minus 2x. So I'm going to go minus 2x plus 2, which is the same thing, different order, but that's the shape we like to see. And that gives us the vertex of negative c over b comma d which gives us negative 2 over negative 2 comma negative 4 also known as 1 negative 4 and that's our vertex and if that's our vertex our range is y, remember it, we're, uh, we open up, it's going to be one of these. And if that's the case, y is greater than or equal to negative 4. And that'll be our range. So range, domain, I keep wanting to put the e there, domain is real numbers. So domain, range, intercepts, those are our two x-intercepts, our one y-intercept is there. And of course they want you to graph it, and that graph's not very good, so I'll do a better graph over here. The real graph is going to have a vertex of 1 minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, put it down there. And the y-intercept, there's 1 at 0, 0, and 1 at 2, 0, and it's going to look like that. And we could do that as a piecewise function, but I don't have all day.